talented actor. Who you, remember, who you may remember from the TV show Max Headroom or the hit movie Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. He's currently starring in a new television comedy called Dr. Doctor, which begins August 1st on another network that we need not concern ourselves with now. Please welcome Matt Frewer, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. That's right, eh? Hey, from Canada. Where in Canada? C A N A D A. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, British, British Columbia, Victoria. Oh, lovely area, Victoria. Yeah, it's actually more English than the English. They have uh, double-decker buses, tea parties, wheelchair races, the whole bit. Right, they have the tea on Victoria Island and all. Uh, on it? Vancouver Island. Vancouver yeah. Island. That's what it is. Yes, mm. lovely place. Lovely place. Now, didn't you go be a hockey player? Every time, every guy, a kid I meet from Canada, <clears throat> either yes, their dad yeah. or you know. No, I was. Uh, Born with a hockey stick, it was a very difficult birth for my mother. Ooh, painful, uh, yeah. And cross-checking into the world, geez. Um, uh, yeah, I wanted to be a hockey player, and, uh, and uh, you know, I, I don't know whether I, I would have been good enough to make it. I, I think I'd, if I had, I'd probably be sitting on the, on the bench of some NHL team, kind of going, come on, Jean-Pierre! You know, with uh, <laughs> no teeth and wondering why I was talking in a French <laughs> accent. <actually. laughs> but your dad, your dad was a hockey player, right? Uh, yeah, he played for the Toronto Marlies, which uh, at that time was a, a farm team for the, the Toronto Maple Leafs. And, <clears throat> and uh, I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to, to be a hockey player. And then I, I turned around and said, uh, I wanted to be an actor. And uh, oh. he was, uh, you know, <laughs> it's like, oh, come on, Spanky. And, uh, and, and it, you know, for about a year, he would only answer me monosyllabically. I kind of go, uh, hey, Dad, how's it going? Good. Everything okay? Good. Okay, nice talking to you. you know, it, was, uh, it was a little rough for a while, but it, now it's gone right the other way, and he introduces me as Max Headroom. Which is, oh, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was on your show, right? Doesn't yeah, yeah he, did, he actually was on the show over in England and played the, the part of a, uh, a, tra a tramp who was... Uh, my, <laughs> he played it so well, it was, it was pretty scary. Uh, the sort of money-grubbing tramp, and, and he was very good, and uh, will hopefully either reprise that role or this character that he's created for himself, Bolt Upright, for, uh, for Dr. Doctor. Bolt Upright. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the mind boggles, I know. Let me ask you Probably nice. Porno thing. I mean, there's an actor to go for, like, as a comedian, when you go for an audition, you just go and you stand there and you do what you, you do your act and you get the job you don't. But as, as an actor, I imagine, it must be a little tricky because you, they hand you something and you have to learn it immediately, right? Isn't that? <laughs> You're naked from the waist down right now, aren't you? Yes, yes, they, I am. They right. hand you something and, uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose so. What are you driving at? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I mean, you seem sort of a, like an improvisational comedy actor. You're backcombing, then. I'm just backcombing, back right, it's correct. So all my back hair is right this, over to my Going this way, which is the other way around. <laughs> I don't need curlers, then. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean... Uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of like talking to a young Jack Palance, in other words. You know, kind of, it's just kind of, kind of, just trying to get through here. <laughs> See if Jack is laughing, will you? No, no, I'm not laughing because as you get older, the dame becomes Palance. Palance. Did I say Palance again? Oh, I keep saying that's my. That was actually pretty good. It's my you, mom's you got, fault. You got my name right, and normally, you know, Matt Fee. Matt just Fee. Fee. Matt Fee. I know it's like uh, 85 syllables later. Yeah. But uh, no, that was good because normally uh, I would go. It's like Brewer with an F, and people would go Brewer. <laughs> Almost time I thought it was Kirk Douglas plugging no, his No, no, not so. Kirk Douglas. <laughs> now, you studied in London as well, which is hard to believe. Yeah, yeah, I was, uh, uh, I did a classical training, dear boy, gesture. Now, what, and, was that, what would that be? That would be, uh, now, what would classical that would training be, be? That would be happiness. This would be tragedy, and this would be I'm bald. Uh. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. I mean, it taught me how to walk proper and talk proper, which explains my slur and my slouch. Really? Really? Hmm. <laughs> really. <laughs> and, and you just moved here. Now, you, now you're here to stay. Yep. Yeah, I uh, came over here three years ago, and we got the Dr. Doctor thing going. And, right. and I'm right. also producing this play, Miss Julie, which is uh, on at the Odyssey Theater until the end of August. Pluggity, plug, plug, plug. And yeah. I'm wearing mine right now. Ah. And um, uh, that's, yeah, that's on Thursday... Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So uh -huh. A Swedish pot boiler. Swedish pot boiler. Which is actually on page 17 of your cookbook. You took my line, Dad. And you just got back from Mexico? Is this true? Also? See, see, yes. I was down there doing a movie down there and uh, did this uh, this uh, show where where they recreated Rodeo Drive in Mexico City. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah, yeah. It's this thing called the Taking of Beverly Hills. A lot of a lot of the Mexicans were trying to shop there. Actually, it was like a. <laughs> 
Have a two by four and a pound of nails, please. I say. It's a set, you idiot. It's a set. Now, now what is this? Is this, a, is this a movie movie or one of those TV movie movies? No, it was a movie movie. It's a, a, a feature. And, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, we had a, we had a great time down there. It's in a, you know, Mexico's a lovely part of the world. I don't know if you've ever been there. I, I've been there. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> lovely, bro. Well, it is. I mean, they're a nice part. You're being so... What's that lovely? No, actually, there's like one square mile right in the... <laughs> <Stop. you know? laughs> oh, no. no. Right around no, our that's, hotel. That's and, and it was No, it was nice, but, uh, you know, a lot of poverty and stuff, which is a, which is a shame. And there we were doing this movie about, uh, about Beverly Hills and, you know, blowing most of it up. Too, well, that's why like, Americans are so popular all over the world. <laughs> that's right. Well, no, yeah, no. <laughs> well a, lot of, a lot of the Mexicans would be there with their noses pressed against the kind of chain-link fence to... You know, and, and watching these mansions blow up and then kind of going, oh, I had dibs on that one, you know. <laughs> well, we'll be right back right after this, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. See you, Espanol. <laughs> Patty Loveless. A new, new album's called On Down the Line. I want to thank my guests tonight. Ooh, we're running late here. Jack, thank you very, very much. Wonderful poems. Thank you very much. Jack Collins. Lindsay Wagner. Oh, there's my book right there. She signed it for me. It's called The High Road to Health. Matt, it's Dr. Doctor on some of the network that we've heard an awful lot about. C. C. Terrific. Yes. Good. See you next week. Bye, you guys. So long. Next, David Steinberg, actor Anthony Edwards, and comedian Jeff Cesario visit Late Night with David Letterman.